I wanted to pop in and do a little cozy late night video because guys, you'll never believe it. When I did the uh, rating state flags video just recently, two important things. First of all, uh, the Utah flag has been updated and I, I had an out of date version, so I need to properly rank this. This was the version that I looked at and I was like, meh, it's fine, it's cool, whatever. This is the updated new version they're going with. What? What did I say, bonafide beauty? Come on, baby, slap that in Bonafide Beauty. This is this is great. I love everything about it. It has the homage to the to the Honey Bee thing of the previous one. This is just good. Come, uh, duh. We, we this is good objectively. The other important thing, Minnesota's flag that I kind of I I did not like. Let's be real, I didn't like it. Oh my gosh, Minnesota! What in the world? I'm scared to zoom in. Okay, Minnesota, come on. I expected more out of you. They are also redesigning their flag and they open submissions just to everybody to submit. And the submission window unfortunately has closed. I missed my chance to redesign the Minnesota state flag, but I will, we're, I'm gonna design one anyway at the end of this. But I wanna just, let, let's look at the website. Minnesota, they got this website with all the submissions. This might not be all the submissions, but it's all the ones that they could put on the website. You know what I mean? Let's just go through them and see which ones we like. Right off the bat, this is the first one. I, I love what I'm seeing here. All kinds of good stuff. The shapes, it's fun, it's wiggly. I like a good wiggly flag, you know? The North Star, this is good, I like it. You know, river, land, red, what else is there? Here's another one that I quite enjoy, and I like that they gave their whole, <laughs> this is like a presentation. Almost none of them did this. None of them even really explained why they did what they did. Half of them are from children, <laughs> but this one is sweet. I mean, look at this, they got Minnesota blue. <laughs> you gotta have Minnesota blue on the Minnesota state flag. How could you not? Polaris white, forest green, I mean, come on. These are perfect. The North Star unifies us all as Minnesotans. In this flag design, it takes center stage, giving us a symbol to rally around. A symbol that is uniquely Minnesotan. Well, not quite. The North Star is visible from a lot of places, not just Minnesota, but I still like it. It looks good vertical, it looks good horizontal. This is nice. Also, this one, this one here kind of harkens to the Alaskan flag with the dipper. I really like it, but it's not it's it's not quite as unique as I would like. If you're gonna make a new flag, you might wanna make it, you wanna make it very you, you know what I mean? This just reminds me of Alaska in a good way, but I think we can find something more unique. Now, look at this. Now we're talking. Get the loon on there. This creepy little guy. Loons are scary. They have red eyes. Did you know that? It's a really scary animal. You don't wanna come across a loon at night. Let's just say that. I love the Minnesota Vikings colors, the purple and gold. There's also a different variation of this same flag here with the with the bar on the side. I'm, I prefer this version. I think it would look nice hanging vertically, just dangling in the wind. So this is, this is one of my tops. I like this a lot. But you know, you also can't go wrong with the laser loon. I think laser loon is an underrated animal. Laser loon is one of my top 10 animals, honestly. Not to be outdone by lazy loon just kind of hanging out on the water. This design I think is very cool. I don't know that it really works for a flag though. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't, I just don't know if it works. And that's about as in depth as I'm gonna get with my analysis. <laughs> you guys knew what you were getting when you signed up for this, okay? I don't know what I'm talking about. Now look at this. Now look at this. I like the style. It's got a cool style to it. Kind of a watercolor look. And those colors, it's a unique color. I can see that flying. It, you know, up in the nice blue skies. Get the contrast of the tan and the blue. <laughs> Come on, get me fired up. This is one of my favorites, for sure. There are thousands of submissions, by the way. But this is one of my one of my favorites. Uh, what's another good one? Oh, this one. Look at how cool this is. Now, this is a cool guy flag. This reminds me of the One Tree Hill basketball uniforms, and that's top tier. It might be a little much for the flag, um, and that's coming from a guy that loves the Maryland flag, <laughs> but I think it might just be a little bit too much. I like the colors, I like the design. I just don't know if it's gonna be the winner. I also, I'm not even sure if Minnesota is letting it, they're not letting people vote, are they? They might just be showing these and then they're gonna pick whatever the heck they want. So we're gonna make sure they pick a good one, okay? Let's, let's cause a fuss. This one's pretty. This is one of my favorite color combos that exists. That navy and yellow combo, sexy. And I like that the North Star is kind of in a, it looks like a snowflake. That's so Minnesota. <laughs> That's so Minnesota. The snowflake, they wouldn't go with this because it's just, it's Minnesota. It's not always winter, contrary to popular belief, but I don't know that they would go with something like that. I do like it though. Now here's another guy. Now here's a guy, he gave us the rundown. You know, he explained why, or she, I don't actually know who did this. They blacked out their names, so I don't <laughs> First of all, the Skywater Star. What a cool name. You can't beat that. Also, I love that the, the star looks like it's doing a little dance. It looks like it's kind of giving a little, 
Oh, that's a jolly looking star. It looks like the Hardy's logo or, or the Carl's Jr. for everybody except for us, I guess. These color names, Freedom Red, North White, Deep Sky Blue, and Great Lake Blue? Great Lake Blue? Why didn't they use Minnesota Blue? <laughs> Wasn't that something from before? This looks like the Texas flag, maybe a little bit too much. It's not quite original enough for me. Uh, and for that reason, I'm out. But I do like it. And I like that they gave us all the, all the info. There's a lot of good ones just on this front page. Like this one right here. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good one. I also like this. Very Scandinavian. Now, what do we have here? Is that a loon or some kind of snake loon hybrid? I'm horrified of it. I'm already scared enough of the bird as it is before you turn it into a water snake. I think I know what they meant. This is probably rivers. Um, do I have to say it or do we know? It looks like a swastika. I don't think that they're gonna choose this one. I really hope not. <laughs> this is cool, more cool colors. This one is one that I would actually be super okay with them going with. You don't see a lot of this fuchsia color, you know? I think everyone's too scared. They think it's too bold. Be bold. I'm all in on this. I would have put this in bona fide beauty if I was ranking these. Whoever designed this, kudos to you. I'm loving it. McDonald's style. This one, on the other hand, I don't like this. This makes me very uncomfortable. Mosquitoes are absolutely terrible. They're the worst creature on the planet. Why do they exist? To hurt me. That's why. It's a play on the California flag. Um... I don't want to look at this ever again. Another take on that flag that we saw earlier, I think I might like this one a little bit better. I think people would be jealous of this all around the globe. Wow, Minnesota, they got such a cool flag. It's cooler than everyone, it's cooler than our flag. Now, what? <laughs> okay. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is actually, this is quite great. You know what, that's good. I hope Minnesota goes with that. Now, I, I, quite, quite a bit of effort went into this one, I can tell. Did they just Google flag designer and then take a screenshot of the default page? <laughs> this one as well, fantastic. I love how long it is. I would love for the actual flag to be long like that, you know? Ohio, they've got the one that's like a pennant. Minnesota's got one that's a mile long. I also love how the red and the blue clash in such an uncomfortable way. It hurts my eyes to look at. But then we got this one. Oh, so good. Another front runner in my opinion. It might be too busy for them to pull the trigger on, you know, the people that work for state governance. They tend to be cowards, let's be honest. Would they ever go with this? They're too cowardly, but I love it. If I was on the board, I'd put a vote for this, for sure. Ah, the old accent flag. Now I've trained myself to say flag. I used to say flag. That's how I say it because and I say bag. That's how I say bag. Everyone gets mad at me. They all, they all, they want to riot every time they hear me speak with my accent. So everyone up here, you know, we got our bag. We go shopping with our grocery bag. The bag flag. I like it. <laughs> we do a little trolling, you know, welcome to Minnesota. We do a little trolling. Okay, now what in the world? Who is this? That's a good boy. That is a good boy. Look at that good boy. Does this dog kind of look like the mayor of that one town? Hey, it's up for consideration at least. It made it to the website. That means it's part of their consideration. So, okay, what, what are you, what are we doing? <laughs> Minnesota, this can't be the flag or can it? This isn't even a good photo. <laughs> Looks like they took it on their Blackberry. This was the first picture on somebody's camera roll from like 2009. Okay, we got another one that I genuinely like. Uh-oh, mm, kind of too icy cold though. Does Minnesota want to be icy cold? I don't know, maybe they do. It is very Minnesota, but I don't, it's kind of something that a lot of people don't like. So do you want to be constantly reminded of something that a lot of people don't like when you look at the state flag? I don't know, but I do, I, this is very pretty. Yeah, I can see this going up on the website as a banner or something. Same vibe here. Very pretty. Got the little wave in there. North Star. I think this is actually maybe one they'd consider doing. Now, this is just another photo of the American flag with a little light sticking out at the bottom. <laughs> you didn't even try to crop it. I, I appreciate that you didn't even try to crop it. Ooh. Mmm. Now, this would be a good profile picture. I don't know if it would make a good flag, though. I like it. Scary little red-eyed loon down here creep. Whoever designed this, I hope this is your profile picture on all your social medias because that's great. You should be proud of that. I love that. Now look at this psycho. Look at him. See, this animal is scary. I don't think I would want to just sit and look at it all the time. This is better graphic design than it would be on a flag. Well, what do we got here? Is that a moon? I thought at first it was just a black image, but it, there's something up here. This looks like a moon. I see the vision. I do. Hey, not the worst submission. Not even close. 
Ooh. Ooh, that's a bona fide beauty. Do you have the guts to make this your flag, Minnesota? I'm calling you to the mat. Make this your flag or else. I love that. Golly, and I love that color combo. Mm, that's a bona fide beauty. There are just so many. I wanna show all of these, but I'd be sitting here for many, many hours. What is this, a YouTube thumbnail? The big red circle? It's like a, oh, things you missed in the new Marvel trailer. Is this just the current flag? We thought you were slick, you can just slide that one in there? This is what they're trying to get rid of. Kind of cool though, <laughs> I'm kidding. Well now, this is fun too. They got all the seasons. Although I will say these are all equally represented here and that's not an accurate representation of this region. Winter would be much bigger. It'd take up most of this and then fall lasts for like six days. An unfortunate reality of living in this area. Oh. Have you guys heard of the duck, duck, gray duck debate? It's another Minnesota thing, I guess. When you think of the game, the children's game, is it duck, duck, goose probably for you? No, not around here. It's been duck, duck, gray duck for as long as I can remember. I don't know why. It's not like we don't know what geese are. That's just what I always called it as a kid. And I didn't know that it was weird until I grew up and the internet became a thing in my life. But I love this. I think this is actually low key adorable. It's my new front runner. <laughs> this is great. Make this the flag, you cowards. Hmm. Oh, see an abstract scary loon, but it still gets the point across, you know, don't mess with us. Don't mess with Texas, more like don't mess with Minnesota. They'll send the loons after you. Talk about sending the loons after you. What is, is the laser loon an actual meme that I don't know about or did the same person submit more than one flag? It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. And that's more than I can say for a lot of designs. This is like a talentless writer video. <laughs> they are the land of 10,000 lakes. Now don't let CPG Gray see this. He'll have a fit. What are you holding the fish like that for? <laughs> are you going to feed it to the loon? He's going to get it regardless. Look at that look he's giving you. I would take my feet as far off. The you got to get off this dock. <laughs> don't be so close to the loon. I like the idea of the reflection here. Now that's pretty cool. It also looks like a football. An American football. I've noticed a lot of them use the same few colors and this scheme is what I think of as the Minnesota Timberwolves color scheme. And that's probably why they're doing it. But um, I saw somebody tagged me in a video. It was an Instagram reel and she was going through some of the flags that like NPR posted. And on, on a different flag that was the same color scheme, she was like, this is the Minnesota Timberwolves color scheme. And if you didn't know that Minnesota had a basketball team, well, you know, you're in good company. You know, a lot of people don't know that. And I was like, what? <laughs> people don't know about the Minnesota Timberwolves? What, what? I think people know about professional sports teams. But anyway, in case you didn't somehow, this is, that's what this is all about. <laughs> Whoa. Now this is deviating from that color scheme a lot. And it looks like the Phoenix rising from the ashes, but of course it is the loon, the scary little loon coming back from the dead. Somebody tried to cut him in half. They cut his body in half and just set him on the ground like that. He's bleeding out. And he doesn't even care. This bird is so crazy. He's so hellbent on killing everyone. Look at the look in his eye. You can just tell. This flag goes hard. It really does. If Minnesota had their own army, that's the flag of the Minnesota army. This is what I like. I love to see this. It's simple, but there's a lot going on. You got the North Star reflecting on the lake, the, the land of 10,000 lakes, with a subtle nod to the Minnesota Vikings, purple and gold. This is a front runner. It's not the front runner, but it's up there. And I don't even think I'd have to call them cowards. I think they might actually go with something like this. They might actually go with this. I'm calling it right here. This is gonna be the new flag. That's the one, they're going with it, okay? Come back here whenever they decide and tell me how right I was. I like this a lot for a website, not exactly for a flag. I think this would be great. Yeah, this is a good Twitter banner for Minnesota. Does Minnesota have a Twitter account? <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Come on, really? Can we let this die, please? <laughs> so sick of this. Oof da. Oh, what do Minnesota say? Don't talk to me until I've had my left, sir. Oh, I'm just gonna scooch past you, grab the ranch. We've heard it all, okay? We get it. I haven't really talked about the whole nature aspect of Minnesota yet. That's, that's my whole thought. When I think Minnesota, I think of outdoorsy, beautiful nature, and just, you know, riding in a little canoe down the stream. That's what it's all about. That's pure Americana. See, now this is a little bit too fun for them to go with, I think. It's just on the outside edge of what I think that the state officials are gonna be cool with, but I really like it. I'd be happy if this was the new Minnesota state flag. And I think a lot of other people would be too, you know? I think we're on the same page there. We can all agree, cool. Ah, now this is beautiful too. Little known fact, 
Minnesota crocodiles are very prevalent and they like eating little mushrooms. You leave mushrooms out, the crocodiles are gonna come running. So you can't leave mushrooms outside. And the endless void that consumes all of us here in the winter, kind of a perfect encapsulation of what Minnesota is like, if I'm being honest. This is so cute. And I love a cute flag. In the NFL, for example, they do alternate jerseys every now and then. This would be a cool alternate flag for Minnesota if they did that sort of thing. Just on special days, they take down the real one and pop this one up, you know? I really like this one. The little bobber. Fishing, that's one of the big things in old Minnesota. I mean, it's a big thing. <laughs> Big thing everywhere, but it fits the vibe really well. I also, I like the wavy look. There's a lot of them that have that wavy look. I like that. I think it's cool. Now we had a radio station for a while called Bob 95 FM. I think they're kind of all over the place. And this makes me want to turn my knob to Bob. It really does. Look at what they've done. They've made the loon not so scary. Congratulations. Thank you for doing this. Good job. Whoever designed this, good job. Look at this guy. He's teaching the kids how to chop down a tree. Little puppy, little butterfly. It's got all the good stuff. They're all just having a good time. They're hanging out in nature, as you should. Dare I say, a new front runner. I dare! But those cowards would never pull a trigger on this. Imagine that! If you want to make a statement, Minnesota, this is the flag you go with. And it made the website, and it made this video. If you if you know the kid that designed this, show them the video, they're gonna love it. Great flag, 10 out of 10, bonafide beauty. This is the final one. This is it. <laughs> he never, he doesn't trust you. And I don't trust him, frankly. Giving us that side eye, what are you up to? What are you doing? You up to no good? You causing mischief? What is this gopher up to? The only way to find out is to make this the state flag. <laughs> I don't make the rules, man. Speaking of making something the state flag, let's let's make our own. Let's design one. I already, I already came up with a concept. So unfortunately, like I said, I missed the deadline of when to actually submit, but I think this is gonna be so good, they'll have no choice but to make it the official flag. Okay, so like I said earlier, Minnesota. What, I, what do I think of when I think Minnesota? Well, there's a few things and they're all gonna be on this flag. First and foremost, nature. The beautiful nature of Minnesota. And my favorite part of nature, is the sunsets. We get just the most beautiful, gnarly sunsets in this neck of the woods. And I think we gotta incorporate that. So let's just start with a bang. Look at that. Is it a sunrise? Is it a sunset? It could be both. It could be either or. They're both beautiful. But what else? What else does Minnesota scream to me? I think it's well documented that I'm a diehard Minnesota Vikings fan. So we gotta just a little tease, you know, a little bit of a taste of that Minnesota Vikings purple, boom. See what I'm doing here? Just that sexy little rectangle on the side. I love when the flag has that. It looks good sideways and the you know, vertical, horizontal. It looks good every which way. Okay, what else is Minnesota all about? Uh, you ever heard of Nefla soup? The most delicious food ever created? It's like a German chicken dumpling, really thick, almost like a stew. It's creamy, it's delicious, and it's got little dumplings in it. It's my favorite thing ever. So let's drop a little dumpling. Okay, we got, we got this, boom. Drop a dumpling right in the middle. We gotta stylize it, you know? Let's just make it bang, just like that. Look at what we've done so far. This is gorgeous, if I do say so myself. And I think this on its own is good enough to be the new state flag. I think they would go with this, because it's awesome. But just in case, you know, just make it a little bit more spicy, a little bit more sexy. Let's add a couple more things. So, you know, what does Minnesota have? They have mountains, okay? They have beautiful rolling hills. So I think we drop this in there. But guess what, guys? This is actually Duluth-based fictional boy band, Big Time Rush. I'm pretty sure in the movie, TV show, whatever it was, these guys are supposed to be from Duluth, Minnesota. Obviously they're not in real life, <laughs> but the fictional version of them was from Minnesota and we all know that. Boom, drop them in there like that. And then for one last touch, just to put us over the top, my ride or die favorite football player in the league. We all know this, Kirk Cousins. What's Kirk Cousins catchphrase? You like that? You like that? Look at this flag. All I have to say about it is, you like that? And I know the answer is yes. How do you not, this, oh God. Guys, bonafide beauty, come on. I even made a more simplistic version, you know, in case they don't let you do the gradient. Here's like a simpler version of this. We maybe get rid of the you like that. Something like this, maybe even pop this out of there. Something like that, you know? I mean, what say you? Who would, who would vote against this? You'd be insane. I think it's great and I think everybody else will agree. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's Minnesota's new flag, you're welcome. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I am actually get, feeling a little bit sleepy, if I'm being honest, so I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again very soon, guys. Bye.